Research in Motion revealed one of its worst kept secrets today. 2011 has been a bad year for the company, which has been one of the best known and most successful Canadian brand names in the world. But now profits for the struggling tech giant have plunged. And tonight its co-CEOs are facing new calls to quit. It's all left many wondering, can RIM rebound in 2012? The CBC's John Lancaster has the details. Holiday shoppers continue to spend today, just not on RIM's playbook. Would I buy a playbook? The embattled tablet has become a symbol of the tough times. I would not buy a playbook myself right now. Facing Canada's tech giant. Despite prior warnings from RIM, its third quarter results confirmed what many predicted. The company isn't what it used to be. Its stock price has dropped 75% this year. In July, 2,000 jobs were cut, and the outlook for future sales is also down. Investors get are getting antsy. We think that they have lost their way in the consumer handset business. They've lost it to Apple. They've lost it to Android. They're not going to get it back. In its third quarter, RIM shipped 150,000 playbooks. In its most recent quarter, Apple sold 11.1 million iPads. The men behind RIM's technology say they won't resign, but co-CEOs Mike Lazaridis and Jim Balsillie will cut their salaries to $1 a year. Mike and I, as two of RIM's largest shareholders, understand investor sentiment and we are more committed than ever to addressing the issues at hand. Analysts say those issues could prove insurmountable, especially since RIM is delaying its new products. They're still living off of great products that shipped two and a half, three years ago, and that's just not going to cut it. RIM's shares topped out around $70 this year. Today, investors wouldn't offer more than 16 Simply put, the company is now trading even below its book value, the value of its assets if the company was liquidated. Peter. All right, John, thanks very much. John Lancaster here in Toronto tonight.